It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and somebody else. Talking about tapes. Hello, Kieran. Hello, Tony. So good to see your face. Yeah. I, that, that smile just lights up a room. Well, it's been a while uh, since I've been on this because that wasn't actually me the last time. Oh, it wasn't? No. You see, what happened was uh, the person who was here the last time was actually a clone created by Shang Tsung in the flesh pits. Oh! It was, it was a mixture of me and uh, Tarkatan blood. That's why, he, oh! that's why he was wearing a mask the whole time. You know? Oh, I got it. So you were like Melina. Yeah, I was Kirina. <laughs> I'm, my real name is Kirtana. And uh, <laughs> that was Kirina. Katana, who is from Mortal Kombat. Yes. Which is a movie directed, directed by, by Paul, Paul W. w w <laughs> yes, it indeed. Who yes. directed Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Uh, yes, today we were talking about Resident Evil. And Death Evil. Race. And Death Race. <laughs> and the Three Musketeers. Um, yeah, today. And Event Horizon. You want to go through the list? No. Soldier. No, just soldier. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, yes, yeah, so we were talking about Resident Evil because later this month, the new Resident Evil comes yeah. out on Patreon. We did a little vlog of us reacting to the trailer. Have yeah. you since seen the international trailer? I don't know, actually. It's a lot better. Is it? It's a lot better. You know, but, honestly, yeah. I'm psyched about it. I got to yes. say, I actually am. And I'm like feeling the total hype of Resident Evil because I spent all of October streaming yeah. Resident Evil I spent games. most of last year playing Resident Evil. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, last year, I finally beat Resident Evil One like five times, you and know, I got the I got the what a tough guy ending, and I sent oh, it to you. you that's right, D uh, uh, director's cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent that to you, and you're like, I'm real proud of you. And I'm yeah. like, thanks. Kid. No, I I, <laughs> I I I I haven't played Resident Evil One in a while because yeah. that one actually, you know, and it's probably just because I haven't played it in a good minute. Mm -hmm. But the Resident Evil One remake actually stresses me out. It's scary. Really, I, I, I think it's actually the scariest one. I really like the remake of one. The, um, the atmosphere is really good. The graphics, especially like on the HD, oh like yeah, releases. I have like the, the PS4 like remaster yeah, me too. of it. Yeah, I played. I I beat Resident Evil Four a few weeks ago. I played Resident Evil Seven I still again. Still need to replay Four. Four is great. I and just I, beat I, Seven I, again. Well, with the I've been playing the uh, H. Uh, what's it called? The VR. VR. Yeah, I saw you playing awesome. the VR. The the Resident Evil Four VR is. I can't. I no. can't even like. It's so fun. I um. I've been. Pl I played a lot of two, <laughs> the remake of two. Yep. I played three. I have still not played three normally. I only play yeah, it with, with the, like the Shrek yeah. or the Thomas the Tank Engine mods. I beat. I beat two. Mm. I beat the fir the A runs or the first runs. No. I beat both of them, and then I beat the second run as Claire a week ago. Yeah. And I did it in one sitting. I did it in less than five hours nice. too. It was like four hours. Yeah. And once you once minutes, you know where to look, happy about. it gets a little easier each yeah. time. Um. And then I just played seven and eight back to back. Yeah. Seven and eight are great. Seven. Yeah. I, I just did the. Uh, I I never played the expansion, so I just started They're playing. Fun. I did not a hero. Yeah. And I'm gonna do all the other ones too. But I Resident Evil Seven. After playing eight, which I loved eight, but going back and playing seven, that game is really good. It's it's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Um, so yeah, we both really like Resident Evil. You more than me. I when I was my, a kid, yeah. it was like I had Resident Evil Director's Cut and mm -hmm. uh, the demo for Resident Evil Three that came with yeah. Dino Crisis. Yep, yep. And like I wanted to like them. I was just real bad at the whole puzzle it, puzzle aspect of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had a hard time like really getting into playing the games. But like I would watch friends play. It. Yeah, that's uh, how like, I was. I I was the guy that everyone would crowd around and watch yeah. me play Resident Evil games. Because I, I like the universe and the story yeah. and the character and like the, the monsters and stuff. I thought that was cool. It's just I sucked at the whole puzzle thing. It's, now I'm okay at it. it, it Resident Evil has been my favorite franchise of games yeah. since I can remember. It's the first uh, when when I had I had a Sega Genesis and I was an arcade kid mostly mm. and uh, Resident Evil was the first like big kid game I ever played. Yeah. It, I felt like I was playing like a game meant for grown-ups not yeah. a video game anymore. And I would I, just I would just play the beginning over and over yeah. again to see the zombie turn around oh, because yeah. that used to creep me out the, so much. I got so stuck on the first because I used to rent uh, director's cut. I didn't yeah. have it, so I used to rent it all the time, and uh, I wasn't good at it as a kid. I, I, mm. I started playing it when I was like twelve. Yeah. So I didn't start like, I, and then what happened was, um, I got Resident Evil Three, which was my first one I was allowed to buy. My mom hated Resident Evil. She no. thought it was violent and disgusting. I. Uh, Resident Evil 3 got me into it, and then ever since then, 
I've played every single one except for uh, I, I played through six a little bit. I haven't no. played a whole lot of it, but I, five and six I just really didn't get into. Yeah, I uh, I loved four. I love that they've brought it back to its kind of feel, and I love the remakes. I love mm. the original two. I play Resident Evil two all the time Have on my you- Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Kieran with five E's. Check it out. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I, um, actually, this this year has been, this last few years have been pretty big for Resident Evil with yeah. the new games. The, there was the animated Netflix series, which mm-hmm. I didn't watch yet. I haven't seen that. I don't really like those animated movies. I haven't checked them out. They're okay. I want to check them out. I the want to check out the one, series. Uh, Re- regeneration or Degeneration. Yeah. I can't remember what you did. Uh, that one's okay. It's decent, and yeah. it, but it it they the other ones after that one got really stupid. Yeah, there's a guy with a chain gun. Mm. Like uh, it got Does anyone punch a boulder. No, but it's it's <laughs> along those lines. Yeah, I um yeah. So there's a lot going on. The new movie's coming out, mm-hmm. and it looks okay. I'm into it. We'll I'm see. actually down with it. And then uh, there's that awful live action Netflix one coming out which is just like but, what is this so it's got uh who the, the guy who's playing um Wesker yeah who was in the wire and uh, and uh John Wick John Wick that's right yeah, yeah. but I I know him mostly from because I rewatched I, I watched all of the wire during yeah. like you know last year during I was just binging TV shows and I think he's a great choice as yeah. an actor but it's like you also and I and and it's it has nothing to do with with it really does race it, or anything, but it's it, just that they have established Wesker as this kind of like you know yeah. blonde, blue eyed dude. Yeah. All of his, and I can see why it's jarring when all of a sudden he's well, not, it's not it, even forget the race. Just the plot of the show sounds fucking stupid. It's about like, like yeah, the post apocalyptic future, and then the, the the Wesker twins are on wacky adventures. The or something. thing that drives me nuts is that. Resident Evil should never have gotten to a post-apocalyptic way. It's always that it gets contained. Yeah. And it's never... I don't like that it's gotten to... Like, Resident Evil 6 brought it to a global thing, and so did the movies. Yeah. It got really fucking dumb. It's supposed to be about... They were experimenting on this small t- city. The city only had, like, le- like a million people in it. It's like a small city in the middle of America where this... this pharmaceutical company basically owned all the assets of the, the city the P, they were experimenting on people without knowing it and it was contained and then Resident Evil 4 was like after all that had been bad like Umbrella's yeah. gone and everything but now they're like a fringe like uh, they're they're basically a terrorist group yeah. now they're underground and, and it's they're looking for the next big bioorganic weapon yeah. so that's what Resident Evil 4 is and that's where it goes but then Five got five was fucking stupid. <laughs> also, two five sucks because Dead Space came out right before five, and I still Dead Space Mike was, lent me that like a year ago. Oh, I still haven't played the first it. Dead Space. Is, mwah, chef's kiss. I, I've it's, seen it's the clip really from good. Dead Space Two. No one sent me the clip from Dead Space Two. I've seen it. Oh my I've god, yeah, it. I know what you're talking. I had to do that part. It's rough. I've seen it. <sighs> Dead Space One though, I I never played the other Dead Spaces, but the first mm. one was incredible, and mm. I rent I bought it. Thinking, oh, this will tide me over until Resident Evil 5 comes out because Resident Evil 5 is going to be awesome. Yeah. And me and my friends, again, like I was in the dorms in, in college and I would just play Dead Space and all my friends would pile in. And then uh, I remember my friend, uh, a friend of mine, Katie, mm. she's like, hey, the, the Resident Evil 5 demo dropped. It's co op. Do you want to come over and play it? So I, I went down. I went, she, she had, uh, she, she lived like two floors down below me. So I went, we were hanging out playing it and we're both like, Oh, uh, can you, you can't move and shoot? Like, that's a little bit weird. Like maybe, maybe they'll fix it for the, for the finished game and all that. And I'm like, oh, this game's coming out in like a month. There's no way they're going to fix Like, this is it. This is the fucking game. Like, and, and then the whole thing was everybody was like, it just felt like Resident Evil 4 with a, with better graphics. Yeah. yeah. But all the shit that they said was going to be in it wasn't. And then I fell off for a while because yeah. I just felt like they were, I mean, it makes sense. The company or the game, but so that's about the games. Um, in 2002, they released a movie. Yes, uh, it took a while for this movie to get made. George mm-hmm. Romero, yeah, was about to make this movie. He even shot like a trailer for the Japanese. Uh, he shot the uh, the trailer for the second game for the Japanese yeah. mo- uh, game, and they went to Paul W. S. Anderson. Yep. Which I yo, I was hyped at the time. This movie, yeah, uh, at the time, that out. was a good choice. Yeah. 
different now. At the time, it was a good choice. You know, the thing was, you, first off, Mortal Kombat, you can't deny yeah. the first Mortal Kombat movie. It's It yeah. still, to this day, holds up better than the newest one did, in my opinion. Yeah, better than most... Vid Not that it's a good, great movie, but it's better than no, most video game It movie. is a great movie. But, Come like, on. think about it at the time. Well, I know you'll probably take exception with Street Fighter, but it's better yeah. than Street Fighter. Oh, it is not. <laughs> I'd say they're on par. They're both... Yeah. They're both... But like you me. had like the, the Super Mario Brothers movie, like you'd rather yeah. watch Mortal Kombat was like well a well known no, and, movie. And people they, watched yeah, it. People and they liked did it. well with like what they had. They they yeah. they honestly too. It's one of those things where uh, I think it was the first time where a video game movie influenced the course of the game for yeah. years. Like I mean, now you have in Mortal Kombat 11, you have all the characters are yeah. in from the movie. Are they in. really embraced the movie? Exactly. Not so it, much it, the second one, but they really no, embraced but, that first movie. But that first movie, it it actually gave it more, almost more story than the games actually did, and yeah. they really embraced like what it was. Yeah. And it was really good. And based off that. And Event Horizon, which got screwed over by the producers, yeah. but there was enough horror stuff in it. Like, the, like the the problems with the story in Event Horizon have nothing to do with the director or the script. It's clearly just the producers yeah. tampering with it. And Event Horizon's great. So yeah, but based off like movie. the scares in that and how good he did with Mortal Kombat, I would have picked him to do Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I, and I I think still and and I'm mm. just gonna say this to, to set the tone. Mm. I think he did a great job with the first. Resident yeah. Evil movie. I won't say great. I'll say good. He did a good enough job. Good enough. And, good and I, enough. Th there's a lot of things that I like about this movie. Yeah. It's the only Resident Evil movie I like. That's not, it's not hard. It's not, not hard. No. And I've seen yeah. every single one except for the other ones. And I watched uh, the second to last one recently. And I swear it's the stupidest fucking it's movie I've ever seen bad. in my life. You still haven't seen the last one, right? No, I watched the the scene where where first off Michelle Rodriguez is alive and they're and they're fighting in like oh, Antarctica. Yeah. yeah, I was like, what the fuck is yeah, happening in this bad. movie? It's so it's awful. My favorite part about the last one is it takes place. It starts a day after the last movie ends. Yeah, and that's where they get to the White House, right? Yeah, and there's like yeah. the world, and they're yeah, just yeah, like yeah, fighting yeah. like it's so, so. The next stupid. movie picks up the day later. But Michelle uh, Miljovic had a kid in between movies, so her breast size goes up a little bit, and uh, it's like, wow! Overnight, those babies just grew, didn't they? <laughs> that's one of her Resident Evil powers. Yeah, that's the, one of her. The T powers. virus stimulates cell growth. That's true. So <laughs> she she can, you know, anyway, fluctuate her um, boob size if she wants to. I will say one good thing about this movie. Well, not a good thing. I don't really care, but you know, Miljovic married Paul W. S. Anderson. They seem mm. happy, so. Got that out of I'd it. I'd be cool with that if I was Paul <laughs> W.S. Anderson. That's definitely the best deal he got out now of Now they have that kid that looks exactly like both of them. Weird. Did you see Black Widow? No. The I young didn't. Black Widow is mm. their kid. Oh, really? But like, it was hard to get into because I'm like, that looks nothing like Scarlett Johansson. That looks like Paul W.S. Like Anderson, Anderson and, and Mila Jovovich. <laughs> like, not even like a kid. It looks like you put them in like a teleporter and they yeah. merge. Oh, like they fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into this film. Okay. Because I really like this film when it came out. I didn't see it in theaters. I did. I saw it the day it came yeah, out. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw it eventually on like HBO, and mm -hmm. I, I really liked it. Okay. So the narrator gives us the backstory of the Umbrella Corporation. Yep. And they're just generic evil corporation yeah, doing basically. shady stuff, and they have their hands in everything. Mm -hmm. or like the Illuminati or whatever. Yeah, it's like a pharmaceutical an company. It's an umbrella. Yeah. It's, they have so and, many uh, things under their umbrella. <laughs> And they got that logo because a guy was taking a trip through the mountains. And he met, he, met, uh, <laughs> he met a hot ass lady, Dimitrescu. He, he met a witch and lady. She stomped on his testicles. It wasn't lady, it was Mother Miranda. Oh, no, but yeah, Mother Miranda. That's, that's a spoiler right. for the newest game. You yeah. find out the origin of the umbrella yeah, well, logo. Ba yeah, basically, you find the umbrella logo everywhere. Yeah. And then it turns out, like, the, and it's, it's, I don't know if, if you, spoiler alert. Yeah. I don't want to, but you find a piece of paper at one point that connects it and to it's the oswald early. spencer was hanging out there yeah. and he met mother miranda <laughs> they had a brief encounter i love that <laughs> they had an entanglement as uh jada Pinkett Smith would say i love that redfield goes spencer here no way yeah he, even the writers were like this seems like well, a stretch so i liked it i was like that's cool yeah. i i loved it i like honestly i love i love resident evil can do no wrong in my eyes mm -hmm. it's the way it is i just fucking love resident yeah. evil so we get to see uh, someone stealing a uh, virus yes. and purposely releasing it. 
However, the during the scene, the music's playing the Resident Evil theme, which yeah, was the helped made. Sounds nothing like it, but it was made with help from Marilyn Manson. Yes, indeed. What a weird when choice. When he was spitting on camera women and, and abusing women. Oh, yeah, he got canceled like recently. Yeah, he's, yeah well, because he's a fucking weirdo. And now he's hanging, he was All those... praying with Kanye West recently, who mm. Kanye West has been shaving his eyebrows because he's trying to make himself into a robot or something. He's like yeah. a crazy person now. But, uh, turns out all the uh, all the uh, moms in the 90s were right about Marilyn Manson, just for different reasons. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the AI decides to put the facility on lockdown. Mm -hmm. We get some foreshadowing to the zombie dogs. Yep. I kind of like how they sprinkle that in there. Yeah, I like that they know that the, like, they smell the virus in the air. And they oh, yeah, that's weird. They kinda. just smell yeah. the virus. I guess so, yeah. I mean, uh, it makes sense. Like, dogs would probably pick yeah. up on that, like, knowing. Um, but, yeah, the AI decides, well, at least people got to go. Yeah. Uh, it starts killing everyone. Mm -hmm. Just murdering them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking... Which, I, I didn't know that they were still using Halon gas back then, because I know that, like, Halon was, like, a thing. Mm. You know what Halon does? Uh, it's a fire like a... suppressant, and it, okay. it sucks oxygen out of the air. Oh, gotcha. But it's, like, also a horrible chemical. And yeah. also, too, like, if you're in the room and say a malfunction happens or something, you're dead. <laughs> you're going to... It, it's also, like, you know, in Terminator 2, when uh, they go into the uh, Cyberdyne, Okay. And there's that gas coming out. That's right. Halon. Okay. But they haven't used it in years. I, I forget. It might have been like something that they stopped using in the like early to yeah. late 2000s. But makes sense. Yeah. But that's what they basically. It suffocates the mm. whole room. It sucks all the oxygen out of the air, so it stops the fire because yeah. it's meant for like computer systems and shit like that. Yeah. So it sucks the air out of one room. It floods the one lab. Yeah. It locks them in. And just starts Which I flooding like. Them. I always love that scene when the guy takes the axe and goes to hit. And, it's and just, like just a little, a little piece. Like, like little wedge there's of like, glass pops out. There's cool shots in this yeah, movie that always, are memorable. There's a lot of close-ups of tiny things hitting the floor. Yeah, there are. There's a lot. That's a that's a real Paul W S yeah. Anderson. There's also a mirror room with lights. Yeah. There's always like a, a like a glass corridor with lights. Well, there's a lot of looking glasses in here. Mm -hmm. This was originally going to have a lot of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, uh, things worked into it because like the one guy was obsessed with the timer and whatnot, so he was going to be like the White Rabbit. Mm. That all got like thrown out. So you just have like you have Alice, the Red Queen, the guy obsessed with time, but then like there's really nothing left. Yeah. It's just like it was like an idea that somehow like little elements made it into the final draft. Because that's the thing too. Was 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 Alexia Ashford from? She's from uh, Code Veronica. And she, there's like the whole Red Queen thing with that too. There's like a weird thing where she like has ants and things like that. And uh, I was like, was that, because that game came out in 99, I think, or something like that. It came out like around the same time. Okay. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what the. They might have been working in stuff from newer yeah. games into it. Because that's what they did in Mortal Kombat. They worked mm -hmm. in stuff from Mortal Kombat like 3 and shit into yep. it. Um, but yeah, so it starts killing everyone and it just murders everyone on an elevator. Yeah. And then it kills the other elevator, but I like the girl is trying to get out. Yeah, I... Uh, and the AI is, like, fucking with her and just chops her head off. So, that th this movie, what's funny is, uh, I think I talked about this on either, like, the Cinemassacre or podcast or something. We, like, yeah. brought this up, but that scene, uh, you know, I saw it in theaters. So, mm. I saw this and I saw Mortal Kombat in theaters. And they, like, his movies start off with a scene that has always made me, like, unsettled immediately. Yeah. And that was where you... The way that uh, when she sticks her head out from the elevator and she mm. gets kind of wedged and yeah. then the, the elevator drops. Did you notice the floor bends? No. Because the floor is rubber. Oh, okay. You know, because they had to make sure there was cushion. If yeah, you look, yeah, yeah. the floor is kind of bending when oh, she I touches didn't even it. See yeah. That. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. But it's like when, when it drops the first time and you're like, oh, and then it zooms her yeah. up, but it cuts to black. Yeah, uh, that reminded me so much of of the Shang, Shang Sung. Sung turning into the yeah, skull. Yeah, it did the same exact feeling for yeah. me where I was like, oh man, I'm am I like I might be too scared for this movie. <laughs> I was fourteen, I think, at the, or fifteen. Yeah, I was fourteen. Man, I was I was younger than you when I saw Mortal Kombat in theaters. Yeah. That skeleton face scared the shit yeah. out. And my oh, sister, well, my little sister, was there. We both got yeah, scared. Yeah, well, when I saw Mortal Kombat, I think I was. Uh, when did that come out? 94? 95. 95. Yeah. Okay, so I was like eight when I saw it. I would have been like yeah. four or five. My I sister saw, would have been way younger too. I saw this when I was 14. I was in ninth grade. I remember being like, for for the weeks leading up to it, like yeah. I, when I saw the commercial and I, me and my friend, we would be waiting for the bus talking about the new Resident Evil movie. Yeah. Super psyched about it. So my my one, two things I want to say about this scene. 
One, years ago, I was at some event. It was like a motorcycle gathering event for a Were job. Were you at Sturgis? No, for like some job I had. We had to go promote something at some motorcycle event. Okay. Some guy had this really cool tricked out motorcycle that had LCD screens on the side. And for some reason, he was playing Resident Evil. And I was I was literally watching this scene on the side on of a guy's, guy's motorcycle. <laughs> and I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm like, this movie? He picked this movie. <laughs> and I'm like, also... Why is there an LCD screen on that? Like, who watches? And then I realized, as I'm saying, I'm like, oh, wait, I'm watching yeah, a movie. You're literally on this sitting there watching it. <laughs> that is, I guess, if you, you know, if some guy had an LCD screen on a motorcycle, I, it doesn't matter what movie. But it's not like he could watch it while driving. Yeah, yeah, it's just but it's just on like, the side. It, so you had to just be. Around. That's what I mean. Like, it would have got my attention. I was yeah. sitting there like, wow, this guy's got a motorcycle. It, it worked. It got my yeah. attention. It's the weirdest movie to pick for that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Second thing. It's one of the problems I have with this movie. This movie is rated R, and mm-hmm. it's so bloodless. It, yeah, even like the zombies don't really have much blood. The There's zombies holes, are but... tame. The violence is tame. Really I, is. Well, it, all it is is like you get a little bit of a nipple, and I think people curse. Yeah, that's, and that's true. It. Too. Yeah, you see, like you see Mila Jovovich's nip. You see, like kind of barely, her, like yeah, you know, her vagine. Her but, whispering eye. Yeah, you don't see like you don't like fully see it though. It's like very. The thing is too, like when I first saw this in theaters, I thought that they hid all the nudity the whole time. I didn't mm. even notice that you see no. anything, and then I didn't notice until way later. Like, yeah. oh, you do see like she's some insufferable on the commentary track. Really, there's a commentary track with Paul W. S. Anderson, one of the producers, I think. Uh huh. Michelle Rodriguez, Emiliovich, and like the Paul W. S. Anderson's like trying to talk about like something in the movie. And she's like, I just showed my nipple. Like, let's all talk about that. I showed my I'm like <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Michelle Rodriguez is actually pretty good on that track. Yeah. She mentioned the Alice in Wonderland thing and then she talked about she started to talk about like anime and shit. There's she, a yeah, you know what's so the Matrix? There was some funny stuff that like uh back in the day, like uh she was she did a uh, an interview and everybody kind of ripped her apart about it, but they said like she was at a video game event and she was like, oh, one of my favorite video games is Heavy Metal Gear Solid. It's really off the hook. And everyone was like, she doesn't play video games. She called it Heavy Metal Gear Solid. And it was like all this stuff. But I think she really did play Metal Gear Solid. It's just she probably, it was probably just got fucking... the name wrong. And it's also... kind of like how Justin only says Rad BMX. Oh, when yeah, that's yeah. not exactly, the name of yeah. the fucking movie. And also, too, like, when when I, when we would, like, talk about video games as a kid, like, everybody, you, you know, whenever you say, for instance, like, Super Mario World, everybody always would just say Super Mario Brothers. Or, like, people back then would just say, like, oh, I'm playing Nintendo no matter what. Oh, Like, yeah. are you playing Nintendo? Like, no one yeah. ever said anything right. So it was just, like, one of those things. Mm. I and, and also, too, I heard that, like, her and Vin Diesel are, like, real big weirdos into, uh... Mm. World of Warcraft and shit. Yeah, like I Vin heard Diesel too. bought them computers during uh, one I of the think Fast, Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah, um, that's pretty funny. I know he likes Street Sharks. Um, <laughs> Does he? You never saw that? No, dude. He was before he made it, it big. It yeah, was a Street Sharks like he was like a spokesperson yeah, right. for like a yeah. some something i don't think it was like a commercial did you ever see where he was in the breakdancing video and the dude's doing the the worm under his legs and kicks him in the balls <laughs> and he has to just like not he like that i didn't flinch. see it was when he was like a teenager <laughs> this guy's doing the worm under his legs yeah. and when when his legs go up he kicks him double footed right in the in the dick That's pretty and, and he goes like this but doesn't flinch like he just yeah. keeps going like he's he's he used to be a break dancer <laughs> so alice wakes up in yeah, the mansion. Yeah. Uh, her only memory is her fainting in the mansion. Yeah. And this is where we kind of get the idea. And she's like, <laughs> like that. Oh, did, did she make a face like this? Yeah. Which scene does she make a face like this? Oh. Uh, the entire movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like Miljovic. Why? She's so boring in this. Yeah, she's she is so like, Well, that, that's the thing. Like, I... This movie was definitely uh, the their later movies are definitely she's the star, but mm. this one was just felt like everybody because there was, was like a mystery. Yeah, yeah, it's you never really you don't really. I know. mean, she's clearly the star of it, but she's kind of yeah. sharing it with Michelle Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so she's walking around. She realizes something's up because she finds a drawer full of guns. Yep. Uh, but this is where we get the idea that maybe this is the Spencer Mansion. That's what I thought. Yes. I thought we were going to be going through a mansion the whole time. Uh, I did kind of get disappointed. She, so she puts on the whole dress, which I've worn in the video. Yeah, I remember about that. that, yeah. Um, 
she goes to open the front door of the mansion and like as a kid who played that game i really wanted a dog to come through the door because in the original resident evil when you try to leave the mansion at first a yeah. dog like starts it's barking like, uh, in the and door it's like a horrible pre-rendered like yeah. uh, like old school <laughs> like, playstation Rrr. one cutscene. that scared the shit out of me yeah, the first time because i had played it a couple times and i was like oh yeah i never even thought can i go out the front door and then that happened i was like oh my yeah. god <laughs> Um, we see some like crows or ravens outside. They're not really infected, but it's to remind you. Were they made of crows? <laughs> yeah, they were ravens, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> um if I remember, I listened to the commentary track like last year. Uh but if I remember right, I think that mansion was actually like occupied by like the Nazis during the war. Oh, really? And I think they said there, there were like still some SWAT stickers they had to film around because they were just no way. I think maybe that's not why they put like the weird tarps on certain things. <laughs> They're like, oh crap! I have not re-listened to the. I might be confusing it with a different movie, but I think it's this movie. So well, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, the thing that I like that that's the other thing too is this whole beginning is like shot like a music video. It really does feel like music you know, video. yeah, like when they come in. Uh, when when the umbrella guys like finally yeah. do pop in, what's weird is like first off the wind is blowing a bunch of leaves. Everywhere. I guess what that's supposed to imply is the helicopters are doing that. Yeah, but it was like but, they it did, but you don't get hear the helicopter, so you're like, is there like an? Invisible I'm guessing ghost? they didn't have the budget to have a helicopter. They could have put a sound effect, but yeah. they wanted to fake. Well, you it out. could have been like also like a stealth helicopter. Or something yeah, like, that. like I don't know. But a uh, cop guy. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Cop guy grabs yeah. her, and then the Forget extraction team breaks in. Yeah. Which is, uh, their leader is, uh, Colin Salmon. Who is one, is his name in one. the movie. I think he has a full name. I saw it in the credits. But I, in the credits, I think he's just credited as one. On I'm pretty sure. I think he was oh, maybe, yeah. So, yeah, he's so the leader. and he's, he's in um one of my favorites, Punisher Warzone. Yeah. And we mentioned it earlier uh, before this, but he plays a cop with the most Polish possible name. And he's this, like, he has, like, a British accent, but yeah. his name is, like, like I don't know, like ski ski skin skin bitch or something. Like <laughs> I really like something. that actor. He's, yeah, no, he's great in this movie. He's not always in the best movies, but he's in some good. He's pretty honestly, good. Honestly, uh, the thing is too. I I said this too. Half the people in this movie Just look like, like the half same. the other people in this movie, yeah. and he's like the only him, Mila Jovovich. And Michelle Rodriguez and Cop Guy are the only four people in the movie that yeah. don't look like every other person. The one in the character I know from a lot of things, but in this movie, he blends together yeah, with all the other the actors. Thing. There's there's Spence, there's yeah. Kaplan, and there's JD. Yeah. Kaplan is the guy who makes it almost to the end of the movie. Kaplan and JD and look And JD kind of like... looks exactly the same as Kaplan, but mm. and then and then Spence is basically if he were wearing the you the yeah. uniform, he would be the third guy. That's it. But yeah. he, it, the only thing that happens is he has different clothing. Yeah. It's like they they casted it and was like, uh, we need a white guy with black hair. <laughs> Five of them. <laughs> and then we need a white guy with light, li a little slightly lighter <laughs> colored hair. And then we need two uh, women with black hair. And one is uh, Michelle Rodriguez and the other is other woman. And then there's a third girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there's know? one other girl. It doesn't matter. Her head's getting yeah, cut off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> um, so I. Uh, also, too, I don't. Rem with the, the first group of people who die, I don't remember, I don't who remember any of them. Or what they even look they get like. Taken out pretty yeah. quick. So uh, Colin's character one. Uh, I really like that actor. He was uh, good in. Um, he was in uh, Arrow. He was in uh, the increasingly poor decisions of Todd Margaret. That's a really good. I've show never watched with David it, yeah. Cross. I've, it's I've, pretty I've, good. I've, I've heard. It. Yeah, I've heard um, it because of David. Cross. And of course, Alien vs Predator. Oh, which I'll talk more about in a second. Um, but yeah, so he's like report, report. Wait, are, Alien versus. I thought that movie was called Avp. Yeah, Avp. Av. Sorry, sorry, Avp. Yeah. Av uh yeah, so he's like uh report, report, but it turns out there was a nerve gas that gave her amnesia. Yeah. So she's still recovering from it. And they don't know who the cop is. Yeah. They're like, well, whoever you guys are, you're coming with us in the hive. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Which, the thing is, uh, that actually too, the hive makes sense yeah. within the scope of Resident Evil, because there's the nest. Yeah. The nest is which I always thought that was like basically the hive is like the nest is like the other one, but there's also like there's the nest and the nest too in in which in the original uh, Resident Evil Three it was just the dead factory it was called, yeah. and it was a factory that was where they basically were like you know ditching all the dead shit. Yeah. That's where like they have the acid pit and all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah. 
Um, so yeah, they get on a train, uh, but they have to fix the Which train. Which also, too, the train is very, very Resident Evil. Yes. There's a, there's a, th this movie has a lot of the tropes. Like, it's got a train at the end. Yep. It's got a, yeah, a, some Evil sort of too. lockdown, and it's got a timer. Yes. It's got all... It's got, like, the little things you want yeah. from the game, but it's missing some of, like, the bigger story stuff, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, so Michelle Rodriguez, Rain, sorry, Rain. Rain, which is such a dumb yeah, fucking she's name. she's fixing the train. Uh, Rain Rain's fixing, fixing the, the train. train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she sees that there's, like, a metal grate that's been ripped through, so yeah. it's implying that something got out, but it's never... Well, it, that that's also, too, like, that's the big... I said when I first saw this movie... Also, too, like it, it's the biggest foreshadowing. It's like I'll bet something falls out that bottom door thing in the train or whatever. Like, oh, oh, well, that that no, but I'm not talking about that. I mean, on the track, oh, she sees oh. a crate that has a hole in it, and then the guy scares her. But that's implying that something has already made it out of the hive. Yeah, but you never find out what because the second movie doesn't pick up from that. The second yeah. movie is they just open the hive and everything comes out. Mm -hmm. So, what the fuck came out of that hole? You think was it yawn? I don't know. Did Yawn get out of the hole? Maybe it was uh maybe it was um Was it a tyrant? Mila, <laughs> Called out of that Mila tyrant. Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. It was her. <laughs> she came out of it. <laughs> She's on, like, someone let me out of my cage. <laughs> on the train they find uh James Purefoy's character, yeah. Spence, uh, who was really good as uh Mark Antony in Rome. The show oh, I never Rome. Saw that. Rome was really good. Me and Johanna love that fucking show Rome. Uh, he's a real fucking dick in it. Oh, yeah. um, and he was on that show Following that people really like, Never Kevin Bacon. Either, no. I didn't watch that. He's more of a TV actor. Okay. Uh, but he also has amnesia, but him and Alice recognize each other. Yeah. They keep uh, having, like, she's like, I think we fucked yeah, every she's like, five I have minutes or so. Grainy black yeah. and white memories yeah, of you. Of me and you just banging like, <laughs> all the time. She just, like, keeps thinking about it. Which must have made made uh, Paul W S Anderson. Can you imagine like you're directing like your future wife and it's like James gotta... Purefoy looks like a better looking Paul W S Anderson. So the weird thing is like sometimes every once in a while when I see a movie, it's like you know you see these scenes or whatever, but you have to also put it in perspective that there's like five cameras and like twenty five people yeah. <laughs> and they're rolling around in a bed naked together and making out and shit. So it's like one of the most like intimate things that like a people would do in their in their mm. normal life, but you have like a fucking room. It would be like you know a room of people watching me and you make out, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. We have a whole room. Yeah. We usually um, do that in front of a room of people. I've only ever filmed one. I filmed an almost sex scene with Justin Silverman. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I did a, a, a stage play in college yeah. where I had to kiss a girl, and it yeah. was weird because I just met her. Yeah. And that was that I was filmed weird. a sex scene of Mummy Cop, but it's literally just me miming. And then I s get switched out with a puppet, the That's mummy funny. puppet. <laughs> uh, and then. I was in a sex scene. I was in a gay sex scene in a short film. Really? I don't know who has that huh. footage. Please don't release that. That's footage. going. To, yeah, that, that, that's. Oh my god! You just opened up a huge thing. Everybody's going to be looking for that now. I don't think it ever got released online. That scene. Was it the ballad of Gay Tony? No, it wasn't. It the, was some short called Roommates. It was. Oh. It well, was now a, you just gave everybody's going to be. Like, short I don't think it was roommate. ever uploaded. To Anthony, blah blah blah. I don't think it was ever uploaded. Was it? Were you just into gay porn and? I think I was in a gay porn. <laughs> anyway, I was clothed. It was like it was like a it was literally someone opens a door and I'm having sex with a dude. Oh. But it's like it was filmed above the way. No, I've never like But I, it is awkward. I, like I, I kissed a girl on stage and that and I mean in real life too, not just on stage. No. It wasn't just an act. No, but it was like that was it. Fucking and it liar. but it is weird when you're like when you have to mm. kiss a girl. And it not like it's weird when you they're gonna take that yeah. out of context. No, it's weird when you have to kiss a girl. <laughs> no, it's weird when you have to kiss a girl, but there's like fifty people watching you do that. Yeah. There you was know? uh my, my my ex at the time we were filming Mummy Cop, she was not happy. I was like, Yeah, you know, there was a scene where like uh the girl kisses Mummy Cop. She's like, So she kissed you? And I'm like, Well, I was wearing two masks. And she's like, Did she kiss your mouth? Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I mean, like, the same thing kissed. that happened to you that yeah. happened when I had to do yeah. this on stage like this she's like so what do you have like feelings for her now like and I was like no I had it's like I was because I was with this girl but she thought I made out with the actress I'm like I oh, physically God, couldn't yeah. I had the rubber mask and then the wrappings on top like I didn't even feel it that was the thing was like I, I at, at one point like I my girlfriend at the time was like pressuring me to like she was either like, well, then you should see if I could get the part. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. No. And also, too, like, uh, and then she wanted me to quit. 
I ended up having to quit anyway because of actually at the time. So first off, the the play was a fucking shit show, and I yeah. really got I I was like lucky to get out of it. The thing was, I was in it not to like go on a tangent, yeah. but I was the only freshman that got cast because I actually aced the mm. the fucking audition. I was you know I'm great, I'm a pretty good actor, <laughs> uh, but I aced the audition. And everyone else was basically someone that was like promised the role by the old uh, person. But the the guy who was directing it kind of was this like rogue, crazy director. And he directed off Broadway things in New York yeah. and he was doing this. Now he's like an old dude. He's like retiring. So he did this. And he was like, all you people are dog shit. Like he was like ripping into him. And then the play ended up being like, I was like, yo, I can't, I'm out. This is cringe. And this, all mm. these people are terrible. No one could m- remember their lines. Like, I was like, I'm not going to be in this play, and it just goes down. So I quit, told them I couldn't be, and they yeah. were like, please don't. Please don't. And I quit, and then I went and saw it, and they, like, forgot chunks of the play. That's At so one funny. Point, like, like, there was three nights, and each one was a different run time. <laughs> one was, like, a half an hour shorter. There was at one point where, like, one of the pe- the there was this whole thing where the two people just stood, like, they were like blah 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 blah, and then they were like, <laughs> like going like this, and I, and it was like, and people didn't know, yeah, what was going on. Like they, so they just started just making shit up. Oh, that's. And good. then they had to somehow segue back to when someone remember. It was like I was like, holy shit! I dodged a fucking. I dodged a cannonball, not even a bullet. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, back to the. Movie. I digress. They get into the hive. Uh, and they try to look for survivors. Yeah. They don't find any. They find some dead people. They find a floaty woman. So this part's weird. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Miljovich is cold. Yeah. So James Well, her Pure- nipples are extremely hard throughout yes. the whole movie. So. Uh, James Purefoy, he puts... <laughs> you can tell yeah, that he was He puts cold. his man's large leather jacket on her. Yeah. And it's real baggy on her. Yeah. And then a scene later, it's suddenly well, more so, form-fitting and a lot shorter. What you didn't notice is it's the jacket from Back to the Future 2. Oh! It just, it so just it, does it, that. It, it yeah. shrinks. It shrinks into the size of Mila. I don't know. I didn't see her hit the button to shrink. She's also really huge in real life. She's actually, oh. like, taller than me, and she's super built. Oh, okay. That dude, the thing was, they couldn't film him in the same shot because the guy oh. was just in so it was like uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey in yeah. the X-Men movies. They had to like constantly put them on an apple crate. Did they do that? Oh, yeah. She's I didn't taller than He's short. Oh, yeah. There are scenes where Cyclops and Wolverine are walking side yeah. by side, and they had to build a ramp for uh, what's-his-face so they can sucks. be the same Cause, size. Because well, that's the thing, too, is like Wolverine's supposed to be short. He's supposed I to be know. Like that's what makes it really four, funny. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, so they're there. Uh, they find a containment area that houses what we know is a liquor. Which they think is a dining hall. Dining hall B. Oh, yeah. It says dining hall B, but it's clearly like not a dining hall. Unless people are just eating liquor meat, I guess. (laughs) They're just like munching on like steaks. What if the staff that was there, is that to just trick people coming in? But the staff that's there, like, yeah, I'm going to go to dining hall B. Yeah. I don't feel like going to dining hall A today. I'm going to see what dining hall B has. I bet they have pizza pies. Phil's in dining hall A. He's been (laughs) really grinding my gears. I'm going to go eat next to the liquor. They go down there and they're just like, oh, God. And someone just puts a bullet in their head right there they can't i just wanted a turkey sandwich today i wanted to switch it up um and then they come to the most famous scene in the movie the laser hallway oh yeah so they're in the hive now by the way there's a there's a fake window in the hive to make people feel like they're which is so dumb they should have just made it that it was above ground because it's like why okay so the fake window fine why would you pump in police siren sounds to sound like home it's so dumb. anyway <laughs> i was just like it's yeah. stupid so uh they get to the there's a hallway that leads to the red queen's mainframe yeah and it's got and fucking it's, it, it lasers. lasers yeah uh, which they were not the dude's fucking fingers. yeah cuts off a guy's finger cuts <laughs> off a girl's head it cuts another yeah. guy in half which so the one thing is the guy with the fingers i love when he dies because he's like oh and he like crosses his eyes and shit mm. but i was like you never see that guy die yeah but i was wondering if like maybe because you know how the next laser comes out uh, uh, yeah did it like it just slice it him? cuts his toes and then his face and that's like <laughs> it and it like maybe his top of his chest like that's it like he's yeah. fucking gone but uh so then the main guy 
one. Yeah. He does a cool thing where he Which jumps up. I think it's one of the coolest uh, mm. like sh- action shots in the movie. And you're right about little things hitting the ground. The n- tip of the exactly. knife hits the ground. He, it's, always, it's always like... He, Can we I get a know. montage of all the little things yeah. hitting the ground? Right. <laughs> I like uh, when he goes to do it again, and then it turns into a grid. Yeah, where he's like this, like yeah, uh, and which then it, it just, should have just been goes, a grid from the beginning. Yeah, which is like of... I guess they like, I guess the Red Queen likes to is she sadistic is the thing. I guess it's a sadistic AI. My problem with this, and I think I might have mentioned the Alien vs Predator review. Uh, in Alien vs Predator, he gets hit with the neck gun that's supposed to cut you up. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. He's gonna turn into little cubes again. Yeah. But since it was PG-13, they stab him before that happens. I'm like, why even set it up why that it was gonna that? be the same? Go- yeah. That'd be funny if every Paul W. S. Anderson movie is in, he just gets sliced. Well, into the cubes. you know, there is a there's a lot of like uh, Paul W. S. Anderson has like little things like shattering, for instance. Like mm. he like if you think about like the scene where one gets sliced into cubes. Oh, uh, it's kind of like, like Sub-Zero. The dude, Sub-Zero where he shatters yeah. the guy, you know, which I I, you know that was also a, I do like how it's in the reflection of the the, the door yeah. but then again I'm like oh did they do that for PG-13 I'm like but it's also our. Uh, the liquor what what's what looks better the liquor or reptile <laughs> fucking multicolored uh like zbrush reptile I think liquor looks better but yeah. not by much no but I will say the liquor in this doesn't look much far off compared to the liquor that was in the preview for the new one yeah, there was something that looked really rough in the new one. I think the it was, liquor. Was it it liquor? was the liquor. Okay. Yeah, and I, was uh, like, I think also Birkin looks a little weird. His monster. Yeah, form. but is that Birkin? It had a I bunch of eyeballs it, and stuff, I but it didn't it look is. like Birkin. Um, because so yeah, Birkin they, doesn't have a bunch of eyeballs. He only has the one big eye. Well, he does have a bunch of eyeballs, but he doesn't have. He's not like made of eyeballs. Like, well, they, like, they, they maybe was that. Uh, you ever see that episode of of uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force with Carl? No, where they 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 make this toilet. And it, it and it's like supposed to be like a super uh, like efficient toilet, and like they try to get Carl to shit in it, but it ends up sucking him in and just uh, vaporizing his body. <laughs> so so they have to rebuild his body. So Frylock builds Carl's body back out of eyeballs, and he's just a bunch of eyeballs. Like and he's like, <laughs> that would be my nightmare. <laughs> that was him, yeah. Um, but yeah, so they turn off the laser. Yeah, they get in there and they're about to shut down Red Queen. She's like begging with them and threatening yeah. them and she's all weird 3d yeah yeah she does not they're like which based makes it off sense, the guy's daughter like, yeah because she's like she's like hologram but in the later movies when she comes back it's just like a, a little girl oh is it yeah well, the um, other movies are really fucking stupid oh god let's not even get into those yeah, I hate that. uh but yeah she's like no you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do this and then of she's course like, we get the famous line yeah. you're all going to die down here And she, her head's like, like the way it turns. Yeah. It's like really weird. <laughs> um, shortly after this, we get our first zombie encounter. Yes. The CGI faces on the zombie. Yeah, that's a little bit weird when they, they, when they it, it was turns still, and it's like, the whole like, Ooh. see, like I know the mummy had come out and did it and they were like, well, it worked for the mummy. It's like, you don't have quite the yeah. same people like working on, like they tried this whole CGI removal of stuff was a little rough yeah, for a few the, years. Like, the even Terminator thing, 3 looked a little rough. Yeah, the only thing I think looks really decent are the dog. There's the one dog the that dogs had, like, are throat, okay. like, ripped out, yeah. and that looked pretty decent. Yeah. But there is, there's that part. Also, too, the fingers, uh, you can see the blur. Like, the, uh, you can see kind of, like, the Gaussian blur that they used to uh, show, like, where it was in a way. It's weird, but it's, like, it's something you wouldn't notice that much. It's, it's yeah. still pretty good, but... His fingers are definitely CGI too. But yeah, so they're doing the standard zombie thing where you, you see the guy with the leg and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and also, this is the first of many. Uh, uh, Michelle Rodriguez gets her hand just bit up to shit. Yeah. It's constantly bite. Like her hand is just. <laughs> it takes her fucked. a while to turn into a yeah, zombie. Well, because they're just biting her hand. They're not biting anywhere else. It's like ow. So it has to like, go all the way up. It's already infected. Yeah. It's like stop <laughs> biting the meat of my hand. That's my gaming muscle. Um, How am so I going to play Resident Evil? They're doing the standard, like, nothing's working. Oh, and they're shooting them, shooting them. Yeah. They realize the head. Uh, there's a big explosion. One of the liquors blows up, I guess. But yeah. then, like, it triggers a memory with Alice where she was, like, a double agent. She was like, I remember explosions. <laughs> I was an agent one. Yeah, so she's like... Uh, um, 
She's like, I want you to, uh, she's like, I want you to, I can get you all everything. I can get you a pizza pie with uh, <laughs> pepperoni, blah, 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 the works. No, no she, cause yeah. she always says like, she's like, I can get you uh, surveillance, the virus, the works. And every yeah. time she says the works, I always think of like a fucking pizza with everything on it. So or a the, sandwich. Like, I'll get you an Italian hoagie yeah. with this and the works. So um, this scene here is like when I think the thing opens up yeah. and all the zombies grab the guy, which is a lot like Dawn of the Dead. And uh, when James did his yeah, yeah, uh, Resident Evil review, um, he pointed out how this movie like borrows a lot from those movies. And I did like a little montage and because I'm lazy, here's that same montage. Man, what? those scenes were super similar to the Romero trilogy. It's yeah. almost as if Paul W.S. Anderson was just copy and pasting those scenes into his own movie. And you could argue that it was a reference or like a homage, but I don't know. If you're making your own serious zombie movie and not a parody, you should probably come up with your own stuff and not just copy and paste that in. Well, he did have a laser room. He did add the laser room. He <laughs> did have the laser room. Didn't we review this movie on Cinemassacre? No, no, James did, but then you. I talked about. Oh, at yeah. At the end, because okay. he wanted a fan. Yeah, to talk and then about I it. talked about. And uh, then Justin called? Wang showed then, up for a minute. <laughs> yeah, and then the internet went, um. Liquors are from blah blah blah. Oh, and let's all not the, get and into, that. into a whole thing. Let's and I had people messaging thing. me about what makes a liquor and all that shit for weeks. And so I, I, I don't give a shit. So yeah, uh, like I said, <laughs> rain gets bitten, and then um, this is where we get the dog scene. I yeah. forget why Alice goes into the dog area so by she goes, herself. She's like walking around. She finds a dog. Everyone just splits um, up after a while. It's yeah. like, why? What's, so what's weird is the way that they segue from this scene to the next scene too, and 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 they split up weird. Mm. So. She fights the dogs. She's uh, the dogs look cool. I like that they yeah. give them a reason for being skinned. Yeah, so it's because they the re- idea is that's yeah, the thing that's gross is they show the, those the the fences. Yeah, and there's like meat hanging off. Like, the, and then the I wonder wires. if like did a dog sneak out of the hive? Is that what we're meant to believe with that grate in the beginning that Maybe. was open? Could have been. Yeah, uh, but they look cool. They actually put like yeah. meat suits on them and cover them in like goo. And there's a little CG enhancement. I, I think. Actually, they they show that on G four. I think it might have been an episode of X Play a long time ago, mm-hmm. like back when this movie was coming out. And they showed like, oh, the blah 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 of Resident Evil, like, and they showed like, oh, we put prosthetics all over the dog yeah. and all. It, they were good. I think the dogs are fine. I think what's fucking dumb about it is her doing parkour off of three walls and, yeah. and do, doing a fucking so Tats Max and Pukyuk onto the fucking... So this like is... This is it's, a, it's Resident Evil. It ain't Street Fighter. This it's is post-Matrix. Yeah. This is post-Matrix. So a lot of movies had to have wire work, mm-hmm. slow motion. Sorry. Can you... Can you and, uh, and bullet time. There's a little <laughs> yeah, bit of bullet time in this. Time. Can you please edit uh, a part of when she does this <laughs> jumping off the wand to do the from Street Fighter? <laughs> Who does that? Because she is uh, Ryu or Ken. Ryu or Ken. Yeah, where it's like that's It's the fucking uh, the hurricane kick. Oh, hurricane kick. Okay, but, uh, yeah. I will yeah. add that in right now. Because she. Send cool. Because she like you know she <laughs> she's I hate it so much. Like I hate mm. she runs. Up a wall, jumps off one, jumps off the other, and then kicks the dog, yeah. and that's supposed to. Finish and don't forget, it. she knocks out a zombie. A human yeah, zombie. so that's another thing too. Like I, I know in Resident Evil, like you can shoot the zombies enough and they fall on the ground, but they're not like knocked out. Yeah. But she beats up a zombie, and the zombie's like, oh, and I guess she gave the zombie a concussion, even though its brain doesn't fucking work. I know. So it's like it, it's so dumb, and then it's it's knocked out. She takes the gun from it. The dog jumps. You think, oh, it's going to grab you, but the dog jumps through the window. She mm. puts stuff in the way, runs out, and then there's like 15 dogs. Oh, yeah, and she's <laughs> headshot yeah. all of them. And that whole scene is literally all they did was like they they had like dog. Like they must have went like Whoa, towards the camera and then had her <laughs> just going like this. There's like no shots of the dog. You can tell those dogs were probably assholes to work with because yeah. they had a bunch of crap all over them. Yeah. So they were not. I think doing I remember the wanted. behind the scenes, like they're trying to eat their suit. <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, right. Um, That's what happens when you make a suit out of like, you know, yeah. fucking chili and beef or whatever they make. <laughs> so after that, random cop guy is going yeah. through his sister's stuff and he meets his sister. Yeah. But she's a zombie. And his sister kind of looks like uh, Jerry Ryan. 
She does, doesn't she? Yeah. She looks a lot like Jerry Ryan. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she gets a she attacks him. Alice. Yeah. Kills Alice hits her. her with a cube. Yes. A weird glass cube. Uh, but then I think she realizes, like, oh, that might have been my co-conspirator. When yeah. I was a double agent. The one maybe. I was going to get that pizza for with the works. <laughs> Give him the works. So they decide they need the Red Queen back to get them more information. Yeah. Oh, and then, so that's the other thing about this. It goes from them in the office. Everything's quiet. No mm. zombies anywhere. They're talking. The next scene is them running from a whole fuck ton of zombies to the room that all the rest yeah. of the people are in. Yeah. It's like, where... Where did you just encounter a whole bunch of zombies and how? Why were Why were you guys away from the team with guns and all? Like it's so it's stupid. so weird. It, there's just scenes that like have exposition but have no real reason and yeah. don't make sense. And uh, Red Queen gives them information on the zombies, and we talked about this in a recent review. It does the bullshit myth about your hair and fingernails growing uh, after death. That's not what happens. You, so does Kung Pao. Except for his hair and nails, yeah. dead. But uh, the the Mary Shelley's Frankenstein movie did the same thing. It's like, no, your skin is dehydrating and shrinking. Yeah, and it's, yeah exactly. It's like an illusion. Like, it's not actually growing. Um, but yeah, she explains, like, it's supposed to enhance your cells and whatnot. Uh, so they, they, they leave. They put, like, a fail safe in her. Yeah. And she's going to help them out. Yeah. Because they'll fry her if not. Yeah. Because uh, she's, for some reason, wants to live, yeah. even though she's a machine. And then, then they're in a sewer level, I guess. Oh, I thought <laughs> you were going to say, then they're going to sew her. No, no, they're in a sewer like, level. They're going to sew her. They're suddenly in some <laughs> other yeah. underground thing. So they, they climb down, they they open the, there's a, she, they say, like, help us, and there's, I guess, mm. like, a there's a fucking yeah. uh, way to get down into the sewer. Yeah, and all the zombies are down there. Yeah. And well, they're not at first. They're like, yeah. they're there. It's empty for a minute, and but then they figure out how to get there. Yeah. And we just found out that bites are a way to transfer this virus. Yeah. So Miljovich thinks it's smart to jump up and just put her bare legs around a zombie. So put his head right in her crotch and then snap his that neck. That part which, is would the so neck, stupid. Would the neck snapping kill him? Does that destroy the yeah, brain? They, she says that uh, any uh, sever the the top of the spinal column. Oh, so she okay. might have done that. But that the way that that guy dies is like. His head's his head is between Emiliovich's thighs, and then he goes, "Ugh!" Like, but he could have just been biting like crazy. Yeah, her, like, like she's all, not wearing pants. No, she's like she has bare legs. She puts I her don't bare think, legs on the guy's I face. I think he. I don't think he died from that. I think he died from just horny. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'd be like, I'd be okay with this. I mean, two thousand two Emiliovich. Yeah, I I, totally, I'd be fine too. But I'd I'm just saying, happen. like. If I'm a zombie and I'll bite something, you put your bare legs in my face. I'm like, well, I know what I'm well, biting. That, yeah, I'd, you know, <laughs> I'd take a chunk out of them thighs. <laughs> I just like, um, 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 um. <laughs> you think Aunt May would furiously masturbate? Oh my god, to this <laughs> I'm gonna fear. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying I think my mom might watch some of these. I don't want to. Oh man, my mom. So the characters they climb up on top of these like pipes. Yeah, they're on the pipes, and the zombies are all having a they're rave like, ah! underneath. They're like, Bleh. they're like, they have their Jesus J's up in the air. Yeah. Um, uh, eventually, their one guy, the the techie guy, gets separated Kaplan. from them. Kaplan. Yeah. Yeah. The not uh, JD, not, not Spence, not JD or Kaplan. Spence. Uh, and JD like, dies in the elevator. He's the guy who gets yes, yes, Dawn yes. of the Deaded. Because uh, he gets killed in this scene. He like yeah. shows up again. He, and he, Michelle he Rodriguez doesn't get gets killed. bit again. He gets bit. Uh, well, no, he gets bit, comes back as a zombie. JD, no, no, no. JD, I'm saying. Oh, JD, yeah, JD yeah, yeah, gets yeah, killed, yeah. comes back as a zombie, gets killed by Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah. Or who gets her hand here. bit again, I think. Yes. Or she gets her neck And then she's like this pouring time. the blood over the Yeah, zombies. and she's like, drink the... Because because she has gaping wounds because she was bit 50 yeah, times she, on the hand. Even Miljovic is like, we have to fix your wounds. She's like, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, no, you're not. She's spilling blood, and she's like, does that taste good? Yeah, Do but then like Kaplan is bit. And then they go to separate. He does the whole Dawn yeah. of the Dead, like, um, just well, leave me alone. You know what gets me, too, is if you watch that scene, he throws the gun. He's like, you're going to have to work for your meal. And I think he, like, hits somebody with it because one guy blinks like he flinches, like, <laughs> in that scene. And I always notice that. Yeah, like, they, did he, they like, do the fake a prop out. gun at somebody's face? They do the fake out. It's kind of like Dawn of the Dead where you think uh, Ken Forey's character yep. is going to shoot himself yeah. at the end. And then he decides not to. No, and then, so, that yeah, that's the thing. Like, he, he uh, they, they're walking on those things. They fall. And then... You don't see him for a bit. He crawls away. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then actually, you know, I, I I watched this movie, but I don't remember what's what's what happens next. Oh, uh, they go into that one lab that was with all the water. Okay, and, she and then remember, this is where, yeah, Oh no, she before that, before that, she's in the hallway and she gets memories of what the facility was like yeah. before, and she remembers that there is an antivirus. Yes. 
Then they go to the lab to look for it. And James Purefoy's memories comes back yeah. and he's like, oh, I'm the bad guy. And he's like, he was like shooting the microphone and listening to her while, while she was taking the order of yeah. the pizza. So they were all, yeah, they were all co-conspirators, but he was double, double crossing yeah. them. And then they banged. Yeah, because I guess maybe they had an agreement before, but he's yeah. just like, hey, so someone's going to give us lots of money to get this virus out there. Fuck Umbrella, come with me, Miljovic. She's like, ah, I don't know if I'm into this. And then the floating zombie lady bites him. Yeah. And then, yeah, so then he's like, yeah. so they get in that fight too. Yeah. And it's like, uh, she bites him. Then he's like, I'm going to go and get uh, the, the antivirus. And then oh, I yeah, like that. They were like, like, where's the antivirus? He's like, it was on the train, yeah, like I, three feet away I from me. I actually like that twist because yeah. that's the thing is like, since every, you know, no one has a memory, you don't know. And it's like, oh, he was the dude. Yeah. He was the guy that let it out. It was pretty he obvious it was stuff. him because we saw the guy was wearing a leather jacket at yeah. the beginning. I mean, yeah. the thing is, though, it happened so quick when you're first watching this that it you don't like watching it several times. Yeah. Mm. But watching it the first time when everything's hitting you really quick and you're thinking yeah. about all the other stuff you're kind of not looking here or there yeah um so yeah he uh he escapes to get the antivirus yeah. but he doesn't get far well because red queen's been a bad girl or what did she say i've, I've been, been a, a naughty bad, girl. Bad, bad, girl. bad bad girl i've been a bad bad girl and then it's uh, the liquor, which it's like she didn't do that. The liquor, they, they shot I, the She thing. just didn't tell them about the liquor. Yeah, I guess so. But like the liquor, I mean, it looks like the one from the games. Yeah. But it looks pretty terrible. The it CGI looks a little is, bit bad. Especially like, so what it should have did is when it jumps down on him, just cut to black. But yeah. then they cut to the TV of like the computer I mean, animated one. You know what they do is, it, so the computer anime thing eats him, but they just wiggle the picture of him on the floor. <laughs> Like, it's not like they actually moved the yeah, body. Yeah, he's like, oh. He's like, yeah, so it eats him and then turns into a super liquor. So this yeah. is the thing that gets me. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. And I'm going to bring up the when we did the Cinemassacre review of this, and everybody was ripping me apart in the comments section. Okay. I think because I said that liquors were from the G-Virus. But the thing is, in the original games, before they retconned everything, yeah. the liquors were part of the G-Virus stuff. Like, the G-Virus was in the second game because they blew up the T-Virus in the first game. Yeah. They didn't have this deep lore in everything. Yeah. So the G-Virus was the second game. Then they changed it to, no, it was the T-Virus because then Resident Evil 3 came out, all that stuff. But the thing is, Resident Evil 3 didn't have liquors. It had hunters. The T-Virus yeah. had hunters. The G-Virus were liquors. But then it turned out that the G the liquors came from the Crimson Head Zombies further mutating. However, that's fine. That's totally fine if that's what it says in the thing. Yeah. The movie says that it comes from them implanting the T virus directly yes. into human flesh. That's not what any. So everybody's wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> the people in the fucking comments were wrong too. And and also too. Yeah, good job. You know how to read the Resident Evil wiki. Great job, everyone. I was on the fly. I was making the video, and I was getting countless messages constantly telling me how liquors were made, and I was wrong. And I'm in this video, and you really need to research next time you're gonna fucking talk a bark of dirt. But you know what else doesn't happen what? either? They don't turn into fucking super liquors when they bite you. That <laughs> never don't. happened ever. So shut uh, the fuck up, everybody. You're like shit. <laughs> I'm under I will a lot say, of pressure sometimes being in these videos and may, having to make sure I'm right. And when I have 50 people message me on Twitter in a day, how a liquor is made, like I give a shit. Did you ever think when you were a kid, you'd grow up and be arguing with and people over liquor? And you know what? And let me tell you, every single one of them, they're either a, 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 a solid color with a J in it or something like that because they don't have a picture or an anime girl <laughs> every time. Oh. Well, anime girl or that means, Dale oh. Gribble. Yeah. It's always Dale Gribble or an anime I love girl. Dale what the fuck? Listen, like, if it's an anime <laughs> girl, you shouldn't say something because they're obviously a little kid because only kids watch cartoons. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just anime girls seem so nice in the animes, and then in real life, they're just I will say though, mean when people. it becomes the super liquor, they actually have an animatronic and it looks cool. Yeah, the the CGI liquor looked terrible. So the the uh, to be also, honest, why a liquor? I don't know. That's a minor I mean, so villain. The thing was, at the time, I think, because w this movie came out in 2002, mm -hmm. and it definitely wasn't made in, like, it yeah. probably took, like, a you know, 
So at the time, I think all they really had to go by was Resident Evil 1 and 2. And that's also, you're talking Paul W.S. Anderson, you think he sat down and played the fucking video games all day? I think he watched tapes day? of them. Exactly. He yeah. probably had like his intern play through the games. Yeah. And he probably saw the liquor. And also, too, the liquor is way cooler than like the Hunters or anything. Yeah, shits. but like as the big bad, like I yeah. would have went with a tyrant. Well, so right? that's the thing is he probably doesn't even know what the fuck a tyrant is. And, and But the thing is they do make mention of the nemesis in this movie as yes, well. Yes, because that was the big game. Yeah, which I'm going to, when we get into this at the end, I'm yeah. telling you guys my fucking theory that was way better than what Resident Evil did. Okay. So yes, um, Red Queen tells them everything about it. And then yeah. she's like, look, I'll let you guys out, but you got to kill Rain. She's yeah. infected. And they're like, no, we're not going to kill her. And then there's yeah. the whole like, will they, won't they kill them? And then Miljovic refuses to kill her. Yeah. Even though Rain's begging for it. And then she smashes the uh, TV. Would you, would you kill me if I was turning into a zombie? No, I'd smash the TV instead. And then I would turn into a panther like uh, Michael Jackson at the end. <laughs> because that's what it reminds me of every time I see it. He's yeah. like, oh! But then, and then he's like, what's his face comes back yeah. and fries. Uh, what you call it? Red yeah, Queen. Kaplan right at the end. What if what if Kaplan like, got in and he just Miljovic is just, just hacking <laughs> rain apart and he's like, I shut her down, guys. Like, oh no. <laughs> and and, and uh, rain is just a puddle of goo and ax meat, like whatever's so, there. <laughs> so they get on the train. They kill Spence. Yeah. Because he's so, coming back as a yeah, zombie. Yeah, so Spence comes back as a zombie, and she says the whole, like, uh, oh, he says to her, he's like, I miss you already. Yeah. Or whatever. And then she's like, I'm missing you already. And she hits him with <laughs> yeah. the thing. Um, but even you don't see any of the blood. He's also the best-looking zombie in He the actually does look pretty good. He yeah, gets pretty fucked like up. He, you know, so... And we'll get to it in a minute. Yeah. I got to talk something about this next okay, thing coming okay. up. But. So they're on the train. Uh, they're giving her the antivirus yeah. and whatnot. Um, the liquor attacks. Yeah. Slices cop guy's arm. His arm is sliced. Yes. And then what happens to Kaplan? I just watched um, this. Kaplan is is driving and the, the liquor rips the door. Right, right, right. He pulls gets, him yeah, out. Yeah, he gets yeah. pulled out. And then the liquor um, is... Using its tongue to grab her, but I like at one point the liquor just shoots its tongue to punch her. Yeah, it, it punches, punches her, her in the her face the and she falls down. And then he throws the pipes at it. Yeah. And then By the way, by the way, she's like looking up when he's throwing the pipes. So realistically, he was not waiting for her to yeah. duck. He was ready to slam. Yeah, right. Like, could you imagine if he just like fuck it? Like and I'm just slamming yeah. Ilyovich with pipes and everything into into the liquor. Yeah. So so this is the part that gets me. Mm. They they smash the thing. She's like, get the door. She stabs the tongue. Yeah. Get the door. Uh, he turns around. Rain is now a zombie. Yeah. But for some reason, her teeth are fucked. Oh, They're yeah. They're all rotted. They got real fucked like, real and fast. And then I was like, did did she just have like fucked up teeth the whole time? Or does like when yeah. you turn into a zombie, your teeth just, they just die. I, like your teeth are just gone. I like that he shoots her to like hit the button to open the door yeah. and kill the liquor. However, the fire on the track is so fucking bad. Yeah, it's like like the liquor is now stuck by its tongue and yeah. it's like on fire. I'm not it's even like, like that part. That part's fine. But when they finally detach it and you see oh, the yeah, and it and drives it away. up on the fire, the fire's like not like steady. The it's thing so is too, so this reminds me too of like Resident Evil 2 when you get on the train yeah. and stuff and you're getting out of there and all that stuff. It's cool. It's fine. Mm. And it's I like it's like they make it at the nick of time. They, they're they on a train. Yeah. It's very Resident evil -y. They yeah. fight a giant monster. It's fine. Yeah. No, no, I was fine with all this. But yeah, then they get out. Uh, they, also, real real quick, one more thing to mention: when she shoots the liquor in the face, oh, and yeah. it does the bullet time, right? Yeah, it's like you know, like yeah, the it's like, and then it's like, and then it goes, plip, and it just hits the, yeah, the liquor. She's shooting like, in the head multiple times. Yeah, and it's like, it whatever. doesn't do shit. It's just like a little. Bloop. Its brain's exposed. By yeah, the way, you think it'd like, be easier to kill? <laughs> yeah, right. It's like kind of weird. Um, but you're right. This feels like the game with the timer counting down. Yeah. They have to get. I love that they didn't have the budget for giant doors, so you just see the shadow of a giant yeah, door. Going yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just. That's like, clever. That's yeah. clever. If you don't have the budget for it, like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, they get back to the mansion. Uh, he starts mutating. Yeah, weird worms start coming out of his arm. Yeah. Uh, and then Umbrella shows up. Yeah, and Umbrella takes grabs them away. Him. And where do they put? They cop say guy? we're gonna put you into the Nemesis program. He's mutating. I want him in the nemesis program. Yes. Or like put him in the nemesis program. Yeah. You know, which is like fine. So what did you want to say about so, this? So here's the thing. At this point in time, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Resident Evil, I believe three and Code Veronica had been out, but most people hadn't played Code Veronica. Yeah. Um, and 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 especially when ne when Resident Evil Nemesis first, uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis first came out, 
and you only knew that he was looking for stars members, mm -hmm. but no one knew who the nemesis was, right? Yeah. So uh, at that time, I had a theory as a kid that nemesis was Chris because you knew Chris oh, left okay. to go to uh, Europe to stop Umbrella. Right, right. So I thought Chris got captured. They mutated him into the nemesis, and then they sent him back to kill all the the stars members. Right. So when I first played Nemesis, I was like, oh, it's going to be Chris. Mm. And you as Jill are going to have to kill Chris and you find out. And then it's going to be like where it turns into like, so so Claire is looking for, you know, and everything. And then it would make Claire and Jill mm. in the next game where it's like they're going out for revenge. Because that was the whole thing was, why is this guy going after Stars members? Like, yeah. How does he know who's a Stars member? Oh, because he's Chris. Like So I felt like... Nemesis should have been Chris. That would have been cool. Instead of now, like where you have Chris is now this boulder punching guy, you would have had Jill and Claire. <laughs> boulder punching asshole, yeah, whatever well, Heisenberg calls him. Yeah. Not for anything, but like I like Jill way better than Chris. I always thought Jill Same. was way cooler. Same. And I played as Jill in the first Resident Evil when I first played it. I, I played usually it. play as Jill. And and she over was Chris. the main character. Like that's the thing, was like in Code Veronica, you had Claire, and in in Resident Evil mm. 3, you had Jill. So I always felt like I, I felt like it would have been cooler if it, if they focused more on, like, Leon, Jill, and Claire. Yeah, the only one where I feel like playing a guy more is two with Leon. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, but the I other like ones... Both of them. It, yeah. The thing is, it's it's also down to the guns, I think, is mm. is not... It's not so much like... Because I actually, uh, in the new one, I actually like Claire's game better than Leon's. Yeah. Uh, but it comes down to the guns. Like, you want to have a Magnum and a shotgun. Those are the coolest mm. guns in Resident Evil. Yeah. But Claire gets a grenade launcher and, and the spark shot is awesome in the remake. It kills the I G do adults. like the spark shot. Yeah. That's how you kill the G adults. That's how you, you just hook yeah. it onto their thing and blow them up. Yeah. Um so yeah they they take cop guy in there and he's yeah. starting to grow tentacles. He James starts growing Purefoy's like character little, wasn't yeah. growing tentacles, but his character Well he got slashed by the super liquor though. That's oh okay. So okay. that's what I'm guessing is like what gotcha. like that was an a, an elevated Gotcha. Thing and and it slashed him across the arm, so yeah. that's why. That's so then, what I'm um, guessing. she wakes up way later. Yeah, my, some and time has passed, and so she's got needles, and it always hurts yeah. to see her stand yeah, up part, with the needles. The part that gets me is when she yells, and then she pulls it, and they just show the one needles like this long, and yeah. it's just covered in blood. And she's got them in her head. Yeah, and I'm guessing that's I guess that's where she gets her weird psychic powers from in the <sighs> later ones. Yeah. But. Uh, but yeah, that she's. It's cool seeing her out on the street, and yeah. you get to see from the Day of the Dead, the so, Dead Walk yeah. newspaper. When when that scene hits at the end, and it just the music kicks in, and she cocks the shotgun cool. and everything, I was like, oh, I can't and wait, and I was pumped for it. So like my yeah. my mom saw this movie, not knowing what Resident Evil was. Yeah, it was on HBO. She watched it. She told me later, she's like, hey, I watched that Resident Evil movie. It's like really good. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I, I like the game. She's like, oh, cool. Then the second one was coming out. I'm like, we got to go see the second yeah. one. That first one was awesome. I'm like, mom, there's this guy, Nemesis. He's so awesome. He's going to be in the movie. And then we went and saw the movie. We walked out. We're like, that was pretty bad. I, same way. <laughs> same like, thing with me. Was really bad. Me and my friends went and saw it. And I remember we saw it in Cherry Hill yeah. at the movie theater in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, uh, where there's a white castle, apparently. Because mm -hmm. we also saw Harold and Kumar there. Um, and... Uh, we we went we went and saw it. Me and my friends, we were like psyched. The same group of friends I went and saw the first Resident Evil with. We all mm. went and saw Resident Evil Two, or Apocalypse or what? It, what yeah, was it? Uh, Resident was Evil Apocalypse. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, wow, they're gonna have Jill in there. Like this is cool. So I'm assuming that they're gonna have Jill hanging out at some point. Like like I because I liked the fact that the reason why I like the first Resident Evil movie yeah is that they don't bring characters from the other games. Sorry. Yeah. God bless Tony <laughs> right now. Uh, but no, so I like that there weren't characters from the game because this felt like it could exist in the universe. Yes. It's somewhere else. It's like while, you know, everybody's doing the Arclay Mansion thing or while this shit's going That's on. That's kind of how I felt about... happening over here. I kind of felt that, and I think I mentioned in the uh, Tomb Raider movie, the first Tomb Raider movie. It's mm -hmm. like, this feels like it could just be another one of Lara Croft's Exa adventures. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I felt like with this was like, mm -hmm. okay, so the hive is this place underneath. It's, it's you know, mm -hmm. Umbrella owns... Raccoon City, they basically yeah. built the city. Like, that's the way it is. I felt like it could work. When they started bringing in people from Resident Evil, yeah. when they started, throughout the movies, they got Claire, and they're driving a bus in the desert, and they're, it got so fucking, fucking dumb. Uh, Barry. 
Ugh. in five for no reason. Yeah, Chris Flynn and a, a Leon was only in one in movie. Yeah, Ada so Wong stupid. wearing the cocktail dress and like, why did she wear a cocktail dress in an underground? Because like, and and Carlos, you, you figure she's like, wearing that because the zombie outbreak yeah. happened while things were going on. And Carlos was in the the next one also, but it makes sense if you're gonna have Jill, you have Carlos or whatever. But it was so fucking stupid. And mm. and and also, uh, ne- the Nemesis fight like. I, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Because once you start fucking with like, you know, canon things in the game, like in in the game, Nemesis wasn't mm. this hyper intelligent robot being mm. or whatever. He was just a fucking, you know, T virus mutation. Like a, he yeah. was basically a sentient tyrant. He was like a perfect tyrant. Yeah. Other almost like Mister X, kind of like yeah. the next thing. And they were where you can make him target. And they did change it. I think in the in the remake or yeah, in the remake they made it where. Uh, it, it, they introduced a parasite that they're able to control yeah. the parasite, which is basically kind of like the Resident Evil 4, the Lost Plagas. Yeah. It's kind of a callback they're to like, that. Yeah, they're like, they're like a hive a mind kind of thing because uh, what's his name? Um, Sadler controls mm. the parasites in everybody's brain. Uh, yeah. And and that's the thing is like it makes sense uh, that he, that, but it's like once you start making, oh no, he's, he, he has like a fucking robot and and he has an, a camera in his eye and we're controlling And they have to have him. a Mortal Kombat fight. It's oh, so stupid. So dumb. Also too, the second she comes in on the fucking motorcycle through a, a fucking stained glass window with two guns, kicks the, the my, bike and- My favorite oh. part of Resident Evil Apocalypse is, the, wow, Kieran, there sure are a lot of zombies. <laughs> we have to avoid these zombies. Let's cut through the graveyard. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? You know what's my favorite part of uh, Resident yeah. Evil Apocalypse? When the fucking ending credits roll. Yeah. The, remember, like Resident sucked e- balls. remember Resident Evil 3, the virus ate the ocean? Oh, my God. And then the fourth movie, the ocean's just back. Got better. It's Anyway. Every single movie after this was like Paul W.S. Anderson. They're like, hey, Paul, uh, we need you to make another Resident Evil movie. And he was He like, only directed a few of them. Well, He, he directed four and five. And okay. I think, I think he did four, five, and six. But he didn't do he two didn't or three. Do the last ones. They yeah. just seem like he's like like they 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 just made him like do a bunch of coke and yeah. I think and he was writing and producing them. them, but I don't think he cared. But that's the thing too. Is it like, literally looks like he watched like a trailer for the Resident Evil games. Like, yeah. all right, uh, that big guy with the axe put him in. But there. then it's like this was also the time where Capcom's like, oh, the movies are doing so because they were they were doing so well in the yeah. box office. It's like it's like ridiculous. And, and that's the thing is, I feel like it's only because people. Well, are I think like, you forgot to mention this kickstarted the mainstream zombie craze. Yeah. People think Between, it was Dawn of the Dead. I honestly, in of. my opinion, I think it's Shaun of the Dead more yeah. than anything. Really. Well, I think this was the first that I can remember big mainstream yeah. zombie film in a while. Oh, Resident Evil for sure. Yeah. yeah and then well, it was Shaun of the Dead. So then Dawn of the Dead is the I one was, that really yeah, launched and it. The thing with me was I was already in the zombies because of the Resident Evil games. Yeah. And then uh, the thing was when I saw, when I played Resident Evil, then my mom was like, well, if you like that, you should see Night of the Living Dead. And well, then I, I watched thinking, Night of the Living Dead. The last one I think of was the remake of Night of the Living Dead, but that bombed, I yeah. think. Well, I see. I only saw... I've n- actually never seen the remake. I've only seen it's the okay. original. It's and okay. I loved it. Because well, I was like, I mean, this is like Resident Evil. Have like, you seen the movie. superior version? The Hack the Living Dead? You're oh, in that. Oh, I, I am, yes. You're I in that version. It. I watched it live. Uh... And then I saw I saw Dawn of the Dead, which yeah. Dawn of the Dead, the original, is one of my favorite. I we actually got had this. The, we got this by the end. Yeah, I, love I that had movie. the like the original or the uh, the DVD set that had like the European. Oh, I have that too. I have it that. signed by the whole Such cast. A great DVD. And, and I have I, uh, I mentioned this in the last Day of episode. The Dead is, Day of the Dead signed so by Joe Pilato. Day of the Dead, I love fucking Day of the Dead because yeah. I. They, so when I was a kid, there was a, a on PBS there was a special about mm. um, special effects, and they showed. The shovel going into the mouth. Yeah. And then we pop. Day of the Dead has the best effects of the that guy trilogy. gets his eyelid peeled yeah. off, like his it, yeah. all the way up his skull. Oh my god, it was so good. And I love when the guy gets his head pulled and as he's screaming, yeah. his vocal cords get tight. Oh, so he's so like, good. <laughs> yeah, that was so I I love those movies, and I, you know, Resident Evil was my favorite. It was my mm-hmm. favorite game. Yeah. Oh, 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 way up until like whenever. And uh I was super into zombies. So at first I was loving it. Like I was like, mm. zombies are cool now. Like it's the thing like D- Dawn of the Dead, Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. I went and saw it. Was good. I loved it. I thought they did. I the, When I saw Running Zombies and also uh, 20 Days Later, 28 Days Later, yeah. which is probably my favorite. Mm. Uh, I fucking love that movie. Yeah. Like, I, I just think it's such a good movie. And they then, really, the 28 Days Later also probably 
Did that come out before? It, it was before Dawn of the Dead. I'm pretty sure. Before Dawn of the Dead, but I it think, was yeah. it was after Resident Evil. I think. Well, yeah, and okay. it, because it was it. I don't know because I know it, it was definitely before Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, 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 yeah no, it was, it was because before. Shaun of the Dead was like what 2004. Yeah, I want to say because I saw the 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 tr- and actually to go back to Harold and Kumar, mm. I saw the preview for Shaun of the Dead. I had Shaun of the Dead before it came out in America. Me too. I got, my friend, I got a bootleg um, at a convention. My, my one friend downloaded off of, uh, at the time, Kazaa. Yeah. And we watched it on it. He had a projector, and we watched it at his house on the projector. So I saw it, like, a month or two before, because yeah. it came out in Britain way before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's but, a good one. It's a yeah, good one. Yeah, I, lo- I was like, this is my favorite movie. Like, I, mm. it's one of my favorite movies. It's so good. It still holds up, too. Like, that and Hot Fuzz are incredible But movies. also, Resident Evil 1, I'd say give it a chance. Give this one a chance. Yeah. It's I, a fun, it's a fun little movie. It's fine. And honestly, like, I watched it, you know, I watched it last night. Yeah. I didn't watch it. I And I was catching it when you were watching and everything, but I watched it a few months back too. Just I'm always entertained around. by it. I, I like it. It's, yeah. it's not bad. It's got some really good. And even, you know, even some of the sequels, they're fun when you realize how dumb they are, but they no, are this is so the only one that's stupid. like competent. Yeah. No, yeah. this one, I feel like if you were going to say to like, what's yeah. canon to the game's universe, yeah. this one, cause I don't like, it's it. really lacking on the puzzle aspect. They yeah, all are. They should have like yeah. did a little bit more of that. Like um, that would have been cool if they did that, but yeah, I, and also like, uh, I, it's the the thing was the fifth and I feel like the movies that got like for they that's what kind of ruined Resident Evil for a minute mm. five and six I played five yeah seven and I had did to not really like bring everything back yeah I was yeah. really upset about it and then when six came out I didn't even play it I remember watching my one friend uh, play through it and I was like this isn't fucking Resident Evil I don't want to play this at it all like, this is terrible. so stupid I don't like it and I was like it's not scary it's dumb do you play and, the um. Revelations games. They're yeah, kind of fun. those are great. Those are so those I played Revelations on the 3DS with yeah. the Circle Pad Pro. I I bought a Circle Pad for that game, and it's no. it's it's awesome. It's yeah. actually a really. I played good them on Resident the Switch. Game. They're pretty fun. It's not super scary. It had some good moments and creepy monster design and stuff. Mm. But I loved that game. Yeah. I, I played through the first one. I never played the second one though. But I heard they're making a third one. That'd be cool. Yeah. And uh, if you never played the games, I recommend that first person shooter on the Wii. That's just a sped up version of the first three oh, games. The, uh, what's a, yeah, to get like the, or honestly, the the remakes. And, the remakes are really good. The I think really four good. holds up no matter what version you play. But yeah. I would say if you really want to have a fun time, the VR. Resident Evil 4 VR If you have so access good. to that, yeah. I, 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 I've been playing it like crazy. And hopefully... Hopefully the new movie's good. Yeah, it looks like I think the new movie's going to be yeah. good. I think I'm banking on that it looks good. No, yeah. I think it looks cool. I'm going to see it. Well, we um, are seeing it. We're covering we'll, yeah, it on I guess this we'll show. Talk about it in a couple weeks or whatever. So we'll see you then back when we do that. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, download the podcast. Join the Patreon. They should all join the Patreon, yeah, right? They join the Patreon. Check out Kieran's Twitch streams. Yeah, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays around eight thirty. Saturdays, sometimes I do like twelve hours all day, like yes. into midnight. And occasionally, I'm here on a weekend working. Yeah, I'm Tony, in the, uh, I'm in the back. I'm working in the background. So if you ever want to watch me edit an episode, yeah. you, watch you, Kieran's Twitch streams. Honestly, too, like Crystal's in there all the time. You never yeah. really know who's going to drop by because I stream from the office most times. Because yeah. I, I used to stream from my apartment, but I can't scream and. <laughs> curse and stuff like that and so it's easier to do it here so I love I just, it we live in a world where you're just like oh I can't skir- cr- well, curse and scream I'm gonna go to work <laughs> yeah so yeah so I, I mean like I can yell on a Saturday but like if I'm at my off or yeah. my, my apartment and I'm like fuck <laughs> it's like my I have neighbors with kids and I'm in an apartment building so Ugh. they might hear that but anyway check that out and we'll see you later goodbye see ya Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.